So you guys are just about to wrap up a Kickstarter campaign for your Pine64 computer. Yep. $15 computer. What what's kind of what's the big thing about this? Well, $15, that's three cups of latte, right? I mean, that's really mm -hmm. what the big thing is. For $15, you can build your own computer, a workstation, 3D printer, laser engraver. It's really, you know, your dreams are the limits. So when you kind of look at this device, uh, what's kind of the first kind of customer you see? There's lots of customers, really. There's the makers and the designers and the coders and hackers. Those guys can have a use this. It's very similar to a Raspberry Pi, mm -hmm. uh, much more powerful and versatile. And the other use case is probably the third world countries, the countries with less resources can actually use this. Hmm. Because this board right here runs 2.5 watts. So compared to your normal computer, which is about 200 watts. Okay. So you're talking about almost 10x the amount of savings of resources. Hmm. So imagine what you can do to save schools, educationals, you know, facilities, government facilities, hmm. amount of electricity. So. so you talked about the 2.5 watts. Tell me about some of the other specs that people are seeing on this computer. Yeah, so this board right here, we the starts at fifteen dollars. We have a fifteen dollar, nineteen, and a twenty nine dollar version. Okay. And three different versions are five hundred twelve megabytes, one gigabyte, and two gigabytes of memory. Mm. All boards have one point two gigahertz quad core sixty four bit ARM Cortex CPU, and we have one gigabit Ethernet uh, Ethernet here, four K enabled HDMI output, dual USB ports, and an optional Wi Fi Bluetooth chip. Cool, so $15, $29, $29 is kind of more your luxury customer? You know, it's not it's not necessarily luxury because the memory is not upgradable. Uh -huh. So those people, you know, three cups of coffee versus six cups of coffee, you know, mm -hmm. six cups of coffee is usually what we go through every day. Yeah. So it's, you know, six cups is okay. So they, they, they actually play as a $29 model. So we've heard some of the specs. Let's check out a quick demo of this thing. Yeah, so what you want to do, you want to just do a... Uh, yeah, let's, let's play a game. We got loading Angry Birds. Okay. There you go. This is every kid's favorite game. Here. <laughs> so you can see it's actually quite fast. Yeah. Nice. So our HDMI port actually does full audio and video output at the same time. Okay, awesome. Um, let's let's maybe check out a video or something. Yep. Hmm. So you can see there's not a lot of lag. Yeah. This is a 4K, so. Wow. So I think a lot of people, you know, they may have heard something about Raspberry Pi. How does that platform kind of compare to Pi64? It's actually a very similar platform. We actually have dual I.O. buses for you to do development on, mm -hmm. and one of the buses is actually Raspberry Pi compatible. Okay. So, you know, now we're working with a lot of manufacturers that actually manufacture Raspberry Pi products that are porting their units over to Pi64. So just imagine a slightly more powerful CPU, more memory, and more expandability. Hmm. The operating system is free online, or you can purchase an SD card fully loaded on our website. And basically, you can load on Android 5.1.1 hmm. or Linux. And on Android, you get access to basically all the apps from the Google Play Store. Okay. And you can play games like Angry Birds, watch Hulu, Netflix, run media, etc. Cool. So after the Kickstarter, what's next for Pine64? Uh, shipping, really. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, for the next two to three months, we're going to be busy shipping the units to everybody. Okay. Uh, we have tons of tons of requests all over the world for, yeah. you know, OEM units, multi, you know, distribution products. So we're working the kinks out one step at a time. Cool. All right. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Great chat with you.